when the cameras are ready, just give, give us a sign so we can start the conference. If everybody is ready, we can, yeah. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome to the press conference of the Montenegro national team uh, before the Euro qualifiers match England uh, versus Montenegro. Uh, tonight with you uh, are our representatives, our head coach, Mr. Faruk Hadjibegic, and our captain, Fatos Becirai, who is also the player with the most caps of, at our national team with 67 matches played. Uh, we will start the conference with questions for uh, Mr. Becirai because he will uh, then leave, leave the floor to prepare for the, for the training session. So, uh, whoever has the first question, please. Hello, it's, it's Rob Dorsett from, from Sky Sports. Um, Fatos, um, what did you think when you heard about the, the row, the fight between uh, Raheem Sterling and Joe Gomez, and how much do you think it might help Montenegro that Raheem Sterling isn't playing in this game? Šta mislite o ovom incidentu koji se desi u reprezentaciji Engleske između uh, ovaj Sterlinga i njegovog kolege u reprezentaciji? Koliko će to da pomogne uh, što se tiče igre Crne Gore da taj incident možda utiče na njihovu igru? Pa čuli smo za, za taj incident, ali ne bi se trebalo da mi se obaziramo na, 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 na njihove probleme. Mi gledamo samo naše dvorište i gledamo naš tim. E, mi smo pokušali da pripremimo sa stručnim štavom, sa selektorom najbolje moguće o, o, o takmice. Sigurno da njima taj igrač znači za to što znamo u kakvom igrač se, se, se radi, jedan od najboljih u toj poziciji, ali opet kažem još jedan put da mi ne bi trebalo da se bavim sa, sa njihovom problemom. We have heard about the incident, but we shouldn't pay any attention to it. We should uh, concentrate on our own, uh, so to say, pitch. And uh, uh, we did, our coach did prepare us the best he, we, he can, could, and we could be prepared for this game. And that would be the best approach to this game, to uh, uh, just concentrate on our own uh, game. Can I ask Mr. Hadzibegic the second First question? First questions for the oh. player because he will leave. Thank you, yeah. Rob. Peter. Any other question? Pozdrav. A to so je tvoj treći Wembley, je li tako, sa reprezentacijom? Ili ti malo, ajde ne kažem tužno, što dva puta kad smo dolazili, prethodna je bilo takvica za plasman, ali te ne jedna i druga. Što je sad, ovaj, što je igrano protiv Engleza tu bez nekog rezultatskog značaja, što bi eventualno moglo nam donese nešto za, za dalje? For question for Fatos. Um, this is your third Wembley appearance and the previous two were a bit sad because the result wasn't there. Um, what do you think of the next coming match how how what what are the hopes of the team and you uh, naravno o, da ovo im je treći put da sam tu i srećan što sam na ovaj stadion znamo kako istorije ima reprezentacija engleske i uvijek je za jedan igrač je sam da dođe što više u takmice da igra na, na ovaj stadion uh, nažalost ovaj put nije kao pred prethodne dva puta, tada smo došli za, e, i bili smo u bolju poziciju nego sad, ali naravno da i ovaj put e, mi treba da imamo motiv i da pokušavamo da igramo kao te dva meča. Naravno, za, za to što e, za nas, iako nema e, natjecanski e, e, sadržaj ovo utakmica, mi treba da pokažemo naše lice i da pokušavamo kao grupa to što se dogovorim sa selektorom i da poslije utakmice da budemo sretni i da izlazimo podignete glave i da naravno da bude ponosni i naš narod u Crnogoru. This is of course the third time that I'm here and I'm very happy to be playing on, on this pitch and I hope to play many more games on on uh, England's soil and uh, in occasions like this. Um, of course, last uh, few games we played, we were in better position. 
tomorrow when we play, we won't be in such position as previous in previous two occasions. It's, it doesn't have as competitive uh, uh, importance as the other, but we have to come out on the pitch head high and try to do our best as a group and uh, to achieve uh, the best we can with the preparation we had. Next question. Any more questions? Thank you. Uh, questions for, for, the, for the head coach? Questions for the head coach. Rob, can you guess? <laughs> <laughs> it, it's the same question, really, um, about Raheem Sterling and his row with Joe Gomez. What did you make of it? And England will be without Raheem Sterling, so how big a, a loss is that for England, do you think? An, an advantage for you, maybe? Uh, it will be this. Uh... Bilo bi isto pitanje, kao što no. postavljeno u Becireju, ovaj incident između Joe Gomeza i e, Sterlinga. Sterling neće igrati. Kako je vaše mišljenje? Koliko će to uticati uopšte i na vašu igru, a i na igru engleske? U životu jedne grupe se deše takve stvari. Da ima neki incidenata. I kao što je selektor engleske, Stougate rekao, mi smo familija, ali u momentu ja moram da donesi jednu sankciju, kaznu. Malo je reprezentacije u Europi koje mogu sebi dozvoliti takav luksus, bio selektor u pravu ili ne, da može da ostrani igrača nivoa Stirlinga. E, mi smo primili to kaznanju, ali to ne mijenja ni težinu utakmice, niti kvalitet ekipe engleske, niti nama olakšava posao. Niti se radujemo to, tako jednoj situaciji, ali to je sastavni dio života jedne grupe. These things happen in life and uh, football uh, teams are like a family. Of course, with this incident like that, there is a punishment uh, that follows, uh, but it shouldn't influence on the approach of our game. Uh, there are few international teams that can uh, 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 they can have that luxury to have one of the best players out of their squad and still be just as strong. For us, it doesn't change anything and we will try and do our best uh, actually approaching the game as if there is the strongest uh, possible squad in England. Next question. Uh, gospodine Hadžibegić, u, u, s obzirom uh, na reputaciju, na kvalitet, naravno poziciju na tabeli, tu svečarsku atmosferu, sutra veče, kakav je konkretno uh, cilj naše reprezentacije i zbog desetkovanosti, naravno, rezultatski? Um, the question for the coach is that um, uh, our international team, according to the position on the table, what, what would be the approach, unfortunately, uh, there, there won't be um, the same goal as the previous years and what what is uh, the thing that you would actually do differently this time? Danas uh, selekcija engleske se nalazi na jednom visokom nivou a ne tako daleko unazad jedan period nisu imali ekip koju danas imaju nisu imali te rezultate imali se jednu svinu generacija što se isto dešava kod nas uh, Pored ovoga da imamo puno povrijeđenja, imamo tu smjenu generacija, mlada ekipa. Istina da smo željeli i očekivali bolji rezultat u ovoj grupi u kojoj nismo uspjeli da ostavimo taj rezultat. A cilj nam je da e, sa utakmicom sutra e, dobijemo jedno novo iskustvo koje nam je trebalo poslužiti za kasnije. A ne samo sticanje tog iskustva, mi bi htjeli da ostvarimo najpovoljniji rezultat što se može ovaj, ostvariti na, na Vemblju protiv velike reprezentacije. Želje su jedno, mogućnosti su drugo, ali ne idemo sa namjerom da je da izgubimo. Volimo mi uzeti bodi i pobijeti ako se ukaže prilika, pa da na taj način njima pokvarimo njih u feštu ili hiljadita utakmice. Mi smo i razgovarali oko oko situacije i gledamo ovu utakmicu sa jednim velikim motivom 
i siguran sam će ekipa dati sve što ima u ovome momentu da se ostvari što bolji rezultat. Ali znamo da je protivnik u ovome momentu superiorni od nas, ali imamo puno želje da, što kaže malo pre Beći raj, ako ništa drugo da osvjetljamo obraz. A znamo i težinu utakmice i opasnost koja se može desiti, jer Englesa selekcija gdje god je došla napravila jedan rezultat koji je danas malo ko može da napravi. Četiri, pet golova daju svima. English international team does play on a very high level. Uh, there were periods when they didn't have such a strong squad as they have now. There was a uh, change of generation, generation uh, players, new players coming in. Um, on our situation is that we have a lot of injured players and we do come uh, with the uh, we didn't we didn't achieve the results that we wanted of course but we still go, we will go um on the pitch as Bacire said heads high trying to achieve the best result we can we can and to represent our country the best we could uh, the the desires are one thing and re reality and the possibilities that are in front of us are something else Um, I'm sure the team will give their best tomorrow and we have a, a big desire to play uh, best football and really show our quality here. Bearing in mind the last time England played Montenegro in Podgorica, England won 5-1. What would be a good result for Montenegro tomorrow? And will you be defensive or will you still go out to attack? Imajući na umu da je prošla utakmica rezultat u Podgorici bio 5-1 i koji bi bio uspešniji rezultat kome se nadate na, na sutrašnjoj utakmici i šta bi bilo ovaj, taktika za, za sutrašnju utakmicu, da li će biti više defanzivna taktika ili... Vi ste navikli da pobeđujete sa pet golova radske kod svi. Vi ste učinjeni winning uh, streams so you would obviously want to carry on with that and we are the next victims I suppose. Malo prije sam rekao da ovaj svjesni smo jačine protivnika svjesni smo da nismo kompletni i naše situacije u ovome momentu i bilo bi nepošteno i ne bi bilo sportski to bi bilo protiv mojih sportskih vrijednosti da kažem da je da izgubimo 3-0 pa da smo bolje dostali moja intimna želja igrača je ako možemo uzeti bod ili pobjediti a drugo da li ćemo moći to ostvariti to ne, ne zavisi samo od naših želja zavisi od protivnika We are well aware of the strength of the uh, England team and we Of course, we are not, um, our squad is not as, uh, the strongest one with all the injuries. Uh, of course, we can't say now we would be happy to lose 3-0 and, and uh, stuff like that. But we would also, must, I must stress, we will try to at least achieve uh, uh, the, maybe nil-nil or a result that would... Uh, even win in this game but we'll see tomorrow how it goes Goran uh, Tio sam da spitam da li ste odlučili kako ćete igrati sustra, uvježbavali ste da možda prvi put nacionalni tim igra sa petoricom u posljednjoj ledini odnosno sa tri štopera da li ostajete pri toj ideji odnosno da li svoje posljednje povrede koje nisu iz defanzivnog dijela tima uh, koje tu Savićević, Janković i možda i Jović uticale na to da nešto promijenite u pripremi utakmice? Pa nije da li je možda, nego je sigurno uticalo. Pošli smo sa jednom idejom, imamo i u ovom kad se oma razgovaram, upitnu situaciju za Jovovića. Pošto je on upitan za sutrašnju utakmicu i iz tog razloga i, i mijenjamo i tražimo soluciju da nam je jedan je zdravih koji mogu ako ništa drugo u startu da završe utakmicu. Ne mijenjamo u ovome momentu zato što bi mi htjeli mijenjati, nego smo malo prisiljeni na, na tu situaciju. 
najiskreniji u momentu ne mogu vam reći je li Jović je bio predviđen da igra, da li će igrati. Ako on igra jedna je solucija, ako ne igra bit će druga. Isto ako što se promijenilo sa usustvama sa Marušića ili Marka Jankovića ili Vukana Savićevića koji su juče odustali. Odustali u stvari zbog povrede su morali da odstupe. Question was what will be actual tactic for tomorrow is is it going to be five at the back with through stop stoppage players and um, uh, the answer was um, um, of course there Jovic and his uh, injuries in question whether he will be able to play and finish the game or uh, we we have to try to find another solution for that we we are forced to uh, use the squad that is available and if Jovic is going to play um, we'll, we'll, we hope that that will um, make the team a bit stronger. Marošić and uh, Vujacic also are in contention for the team. Marko Janković, ne Vujacic. Ma, uh, Marko Janković instead of Vujacic, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Možda <laughs> slutim nešto. Um, the fuss that we've been making about Raheem Sterling having a f small fight, does that seem a bit silly given your own playing career, sort of the breakup of a great team and, and an actual war and breakup of nations? Are we, are we being a bit silly about this or...? Ponovo da se vratimo na ovaj incident i po vašem iskustvu vi ste imali dugu karijeru i da li mislite da ovako nešto utiče na slogu u timu i uopšte veoma loš primet za čitavu zemlju da se nešto tako desi? Ne bi išao u toliko daleku osudu da to utiče kao na ugled zemlje ili to je sport i u drugim poslovno se desi te stvari. I kad sam ja bio aktivan i kad sam igrao protiv engleske u generaciji Linekera, Mark Hughes-a i Adamsa, bilo je ti stvari kao što je danas. Nije to neki veliki problem, to se desi i čak mi sportaši često volimo da ima ti tenzija, jer mi smo ipak takmičari i moramo imati karakter. Ko nema karaktera ne može ni pobiđivati, tako da... Ja lično ne dajem neku važnost ovom incidentu, bez obzira što ne prihvatam to, zato je moj kolega napravio jednu tu sankciju prema njima, ali nije to nešto strašno. To je sastavni dio života jedne grupe. I wouldn't go that far that it would break the nation or influence on that level. These are things that happen not only in football but in life in general. Uh, wouldn't take it as such a problem. With the, within the players, these incidents happen because of different circumstances and the tensions within the team can happen because of desire of the players and as a player, as a coach, Sometimes you want a player who cares and uh, they, they uh, want, want to achieve. Uh, so I wouldn't give that much emphasis on this incident. My colleague did uh, issue the punishment to the player and I think it will die down uh, soon. It, it used to happen in my playing career and I had a long career. These incidents do happen and they die down. You've also got something in common with Gareth Southgate in that you've both missed penalties in important games, which you probably don't want people reminding you of, but uh, how do you think he's done as a manager, as the manager of England? Isto imate neke sličnosti sa Gareth Southgate-om, menadžerom engleskog tima. Oboje ste promašili važne penale u vašoj karijeri. I šta mislite, kako je Gareth Southgate, koliko je uspeo u njegovoj karijeri kao menadžer engleskog tima i ošte trenerske karijeri? Ja mislim da vodi karijeru jako dobro. Mislim da je pokazao od samog starta menadžerske kvalitete koje su potrebne za svaku selekciju, a pogotovo za ovu selekciju veličine engleske. 
Mislim da to iskustvo koje je imao i pozitivno i negativno igrao u velikim klubima i ta negativna iskustva kako je fulio važan penal, samo su me dali njemu novi karakter koji on jako dobro koristi u menadžmentu danas. I mislim da je Futbolski savjez Engleske dobio velikog menadžera u njemu. The, the, the coaching career of Gareth Southgate, I would, in my opinion, is very successful going through all the selections, missing the penalties in, in, as, a, as a coach and suffering it, uh, missing the penalties as a player and suffering it as a coach gives you another strength and experience that can uh, uh, just add to the quality of the player or the manager. Um, and uh, I, th I think he's done really, really well as a manager of English team and also in his youth, as, as a youth coach. And as a last sentence of the head coach, he thinks that the English FA has got a great manager in, in Gareth Southgate. That was the last thing he said. Any further questions? If not, I would end the conference and use this opportunity to congratulate the FA and the English national team on the 100 cap, on 1,000 cap of, of their national team. Huge achievement, and we are proud to be a part of that spectacle tomorrow night. Thank you. Thank you.